Juliet Sadlier, and I'm an Associate Professor at the University of Otago, Wellington. And I'm Shema Ali, a PhD student. Together with Professor Ingrid Sheffer from the University of Melbourne, we have written a review on the efficacy of cannabinoids in paediatric epilepsy for the January 2019 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. Epilepsy is common. The developmental and epileptic encephalopathies are the most serious group of epilepsies. Devastatingly, in these severe disorders, children have intractable seizures and significant motor, cognitive and psychiatric comorbidities. Medical marijuana has been used for centuries, but recently there have been anecdotal reports of almost miraculous effect in individual children with developmental and epileptic encephalopathies. This, and the fact that marijuana is illegal in most countries, has led to unprecedented public and media interest. There are high public expectations of efficacy, and significant pressure has been applied to move this therapy into mainstream use. The marijuana plant contains hundreds of compounds, but cannabidiol, or CBD, and delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, are the components that have received the most medicinal attention. Preclinical trials have shown CBD has clear anti-epileptic properties both in in vitro and in vivo rodent models. Contrasting with THC, which has been found to have anticonvulsant and pro-convulsant properties. Furthermore, THC has been shown to have long-term negative effects on the developing brain, raising significant concerns about its use in children and teenagers. In the last year, there have been three randomized, placebo-controlled, double-blind trials of CBD in a total of 516 children and adults with developmental and epileptic encephalopathies, specifically Drave and Lennox-Gastaut syndromes. All trials report statistically and clinically significant improvement in seizure frequency. In the three trials, there were on average between 38 to 41 percent reduction in seizures for those on CBD compared to 13 to 19 percent on placebo. Importantly, 5 percent of children with Drave syndrome on CBD became seizure-free compared to none in the placebo group. These three trials provide class one evidence that CBD is an effective anti-epileptic medicine for Drave and Lennox-Gastaut syndromes. The efficacy, however, was not miraculous and was similar to what has been found in other anti-epileptic drug trials in these cohorts. More than 250 children and adults with epilepsy have been administered CBD in these trials. CBD is tolerated to a similar degree as other antiepileptic medications. The most commonly reported adverse events include somnolence, diarrhea, and decreased appetite. Somnolence requires careful management, particularly if the patient is also receiving clobazam, as the levels of clobazam and its metabolite nor clobazam increase with CBD administration. Decreasing the clobazam dose can help manage the side effect. Because of the demand for medicinal marijuana for epilepsy, a variety of different products are becoming available. Many of them are marketed as health supplements, and the manufacturing quality of these products is highly variable. Pharmaceutical grade products, such as those used in the class one trials, should be used so that the individual and their doctor can be confident of both the ratio of CBD to THC and the amount of CBD in each prescribed dose. More research is required to define the breadth of pediatric epilepsy syndromes for which cannabinoids may be effective. With further class one trials, the place of cannabinoids in our anti-epileptic armamentarium will become clearer. Thank you for your interest in our review article.